Ah, that's a big one. Well, it's unusual. Um, it's unusual. Uh, you know, MERS, I guess, at least in Alaska, it's built into the life history strategy, obviously, because it's not un unheard of. These die-offs occur every once in a while. This one seems to be particularly large, and the geographic spread of it is really huge. This doesn't look like winter out here. This is really unusual. This is our third winter out here in the last 10 years, and the two other times I've been out here, we've had snow to the water line, snow, a lot of ice in the bays, and we haven't had any of that this year. It's been really unique. In March of 2015, Alaska residents began discovering dead and dying seabirds washed up on beaches throughout the Gulf of Alaska. Most of the birds were common murs. Later that summer, several of the largest murr colonies in the Gulf failed to produce young. Biologists had never witnessed this in 30 years of monitoring the colonies. The following winter, another wave of die-offs began, but this time the details were even more alarming. Nearly 8,000 MERS were found dead along a one-mile stretch of coastline near Whittier, Alaska. Meanwhile, residents of Homer, Kodiak, and Seward were finding hundreds of dead MERS on their beaches. Dead and dying MERS were even discovered in interior Alaska, hundreds of miles from the ocean. Limited seabird die-offs have occurred before in Alaska in the 1970s and 1990s. This event, however, was enormous, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of birds across a vast region of southern Alaska. To estimate the extent of the MER die-off in a region of the Gulf of Alaska, the National Park Service launched a coastal survey of Katmai National Park and Preserve in March of 2016. With biologists from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the U.S. Geological Survey, they searched for dead and dying seabirds on beaches between Cape Douglas and Amalek Bay in the Gulf of Alaska. By and large, common murs are one of our most common seabirds. I mean, we use them in fish and wildlife as a, as a focal species to monitor overall the you know, health of the marine ecosystem. And um, so we're really seeing, you know, I think it's fair to say 85 to 90 percent of birds being reported are common MERS. Um, but there are other birds being reported as well, so. Here we are on a beach collecting data to determine the uh, kind of the magnitude, how many birds are being affected or have been affected, uh, as well as the overall um, geographic range. How broadly is this occurring? How, how widely are we seeing birds found on beaches? And then the duration, how long is this event going on for? So like in Prince William Sound, the big bulk of the die-off occurred in late December um, early January and it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of these died you know maybe at the same time or shortly thereafter so they're pretty old and uh, obviously we're dealing our challenges because if look at all these wolf tracks here we've seen lots of wolf tracks a lot of fox tracks there's been a lot of eagle so we're we're competing with the the natural scavengers out here for carcasses and they're spreading them around which makes our job a lot harder out in the sound where I was, we'd just find them, um, all these fresh dead murs just right up at the, at the rack line, or just above it, so they were much easier to count than here. This is a lot more challenging. In all, 2,033 dead birds were counted during the one-week survey at Katmai. Almost all of them were common murs. Researchers found an average of 102 dead birds for each kilometer of beach nine species of seabirds were identified among the carcasses. Biologists attribute this die-off largely to starvation, linked to unusually warm ocean temperatures over the last several years. A mass of warm water in the Pacific Ocean likely disrupted the marine food web from California to the Gulf of Alaska. 
Common murres feed on fish that thrive in cold water. These fish species were unavailable to the birds because of the warmer ocean temperatures. Alaska's murre die-off coincided with large die-offs of other seabirds and marine mammals along the Pacific coast from California northward. In October of 2016, hundreds of dead tufted puffins were found, washed ashore in the Bering Sea. These birds had also apparently starved to death during a period of record warm ocean temperatures. Biologists expect the seabird die-off to continue. The severity will depend in part on future weather and oceanographic conditions. <laughs>